crowd in Northeast Tennessee rivers. It's called whirling disease and was recently discovered in fish in our area. It does not pose an immediate threat to humans. But TWRA officials tell News Channel of its Curtis McLeod they want the public's help in stopping the parasite from spreading. Thousands of fish in the Watauga and South Holston tailwaters are in danger, and it's because of whirling disease. As you can see in this photo provided to us by the TWRA, this brown trout is infected with the parasite. TWRA streams and river biologist Sally Petrie. What happens is the parasite comes in contact with the trout or the salmon um, and uh, affects the nervous system of the trout or the skeletal system of the trout. Tests were done on fish in these waters last March. Those test results just came back proving that the whirling disease were found in those fish. Today, you know, we haven't seen any fish, you know, exhibiting the signs or whatnot, but um, we are aware that it's here. Justin Shalasi has fished these waters for the last five years with his family. He, like other fishermen we spoke with, were familiar with whirling disease thanks to TWRA officers. At least I know if I see a fish doing something funny, I know that this is what it is and this is what they're dealing with. Whether it be your kayak, your boat, your waders, your fishing equipment, we want you to clean, drain and dry your equipment. She also says it's important to not transport live or dead trout from one body of water to another. Also, be mindful and dispose of fish parts carefully when cleaning trout. TWRA officers say these simple steps could potentially save thousands of trout in our region. Curtis McLeod, News Channel 11, in your corner. If you happen to see signs of whirling disease in fish when you're out and about, TWRA officers need to hear from you. We have their email address on our website, wjhl.com.